Hey partners, how are you? I'm glad to hang out with you guys today. Excited about what God has been doing and what he's about to do. It's been an amazing year. God has done so many things. You know, the Lord said to us at the end of last year that this would be a year where we would look back and say, man, we hadn't seen anything yet. And you know what? That was true. God has done so many things in our lives. God has done so many things through us together. This year, through your giving and your praying, we've been able to reach uh, really millions with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've been on international television. We've been using social media to reach people. We've been forced had hundreds of people make a decision for Jesus. Uh, we have, uh, through our world headquarters, served so many people that needed backpacks and food and, and Thanksgiving dinners and the like. God has used us to touch so many lives, and this is just the beginning. I'm so thrilled about your commitment to what God is doing through us, through this ministry. And as I said, I know what the Bible says is true, that because you're willing to obey God, because you're willing to be a blessing, God will give you the good of the land. God's going to cause you to abound with blessings. Your future is bright. This month, I just want to share with you something that God kind of brought back up in my heart I've been praying about 2022, and uh, God has said some things about that that I'll share going forward. But what I have to share today, I think kind of is perfect for this season, right? Uh, and so I'm going to read to you from Psalm 90 and verse 15. I want you to notice what the psalmist says here. He says, give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years with good. Give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years. Once again, what's implied here is in proportion with good. And so God is uh, uh, showing us something here. He's showing us what's his, what his will is. And most of us have had some former misery. Most of us have had some evil years, years we look back and say, man, this was not a good year. In fact, you might even be saying that about this year for various different reasons. Reasons, And, and God's will is that he repay you for what you went through, that every moment of misery you have, God turns around and gives you a moment of gladness for it. Every evil year you've had, God replaces that with a good year. God wants to give you uh, a recompense for what you went through, particularly when you went through things for his name. You were persecuted because you chose to do things God's way. You struggled because you decided to follow God's plan instead of your plan. You gave, even though you weren't sure that you should even be doing that right now based on where you were financially, but you care so much about God and God's purposes that you gave anyway. And God is a God who sees those things, and he is someone who rewards his people. So get ready for God to give you gladness. Get ready for God to pay you back for what you went through, for those evil years to now be replaced with good years. This reminds me, of course, what the Bible says in Joel chapter 2. God was talking to a people there, his people, and they had gotten away from God and made some mistakes like some of us have done as well. And then God was saying to them, you know, you need to come back to me, come back to me. Right. And so in Joel chapter two and verse 23, he says, be glad then ye children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full, somebody say full, full of wheat. The fat shall overflow, somebody say overflow with wine and oil. Notice verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. I like how the New Living Translation says, I will give you back what you lost. And this is part of how God does what we just finished reading in the last scripture, right? Replacing the evil years with the good, paying you back for what you went through. And here we see God talking to a people that went through some things because of their mistakes. Would anybody else say that applies to you? It sure does to me. And yet God even says to them, hey, once you get back to me, I'll pay you back for what you lost. I will restore to you 
what you lost. In fact, he's not just a God who will restore to you what you lost. He mentions there that I'm also going to cause your floors to be full of weed. I'm going to have cause you to have overflow in addition to what I'm going to restore to you. So he doesn't just bring restoration. God brings restoration plus, and that's what he wants to do in your life if you will believe for it. Here's another scripture in Isaiah chapter 61 in verse 3. And many of those who, of us who've been following God, we've heard this scripture before. It's time to claim it right now. In Isaiah 63 and verse 61, excuse me, in verse 7, I'm sorry, he says, For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Notice that promise. You shall have double. You had shame because of what you went through. Shame because of who you stood for. But God said, I'm going to not just give you back what you lost. I'm not just going to give you a little extra. I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Come on now. That's something to give God praise about. That's something to say. Yes, go ahead and say it. I claim my double. I receive the double because that's what God wants to do. I believe that's what God is saying to us in this season. We're entering a season of the double. And you know, a great, great, great uh, story that shows this is Job's story. Job lost everything, partly because he got into fear, but when he made the proper adjustments in his heart, and some of us, that's what we need to do right now. You need to search your heart at the end of the year and just kind of see where do I need to make some adjustments. So I'm lining up with God's word. I'm doing what God told me to do the way God told me to do it. I'm treating people the way God wants me to treat people. When you make that adjustment like Job did, you'll see the results that Job had. Job received double what he lost. And he had a lot, but God has no problem giving you a lot. He had a lot and God doubled him. Everything he lost, God gave him back what he had plus so much more. And this is the time for us to experience the same thing. One more scripture in Job chapter 36, one of my favorite scriptures. And you know, when you go through life, and you go through difficult times, you know, you really can get to the place where you start to feel like, well, you know, I'll just take God getting me out of this. I'll just, you know, if I could just be happy again, if I could just have this again, you stop believing for what God actually promised, but you got to get back to God's standard. Let's shoot for the, the sun, right? Let's shoot for what God said. And this is what he said about us. He said in Job 36, 11, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. I'm believing for that again. I'm believing I'm going to spend my days in prosperity and my years in pleasures as I help God build his kingdom on earth. I want you to believe the same thing. As you're someone who loves God, as you're someone who has, who's praying for God's purposes, who's reaching out and sharing Jesus with people, who's serving, making a mark in this world through serving in the community and in the workplace, as you're somebody that's giving so for God's purposes, uh, you're obeying and serving him, you need to believe God that you'll spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures. I want to challenge you to believe again. I want to challenge you to look forward to what God's about to do. Thank God he brought us out of trouble in the past. Thank God he's done so many great things, even this year, new things. But we still haven't seen anything yet. God takes us from glory to glory. So get ready for God to replace the evil years with some good years. Get ready for restoration plus. Get ready for the double. Get ready to spend your days in prosperity and your years and pleasures. As you prepare to give this month, I want to encourage you to just believe God with me for a multiplied return and for all the things that God wants us to do this year through Andre Butler Ministries. Of course, our world headquarters is a supernatural blessing. We've talked so much about that. That was one of those we hadn't seen anything yet moments we had this last year. But we want to continue to upgrade it. One of the ways we want to do that is we want to go ahead and create some studio space so we can go ahead and do things like this video in our own studio. And of course, we're launching our own Faith X Network. We want to be able to, to create 
entertainment that is faith-based, that will encourage people and help them follow Jesus. And so that's one of the things I really want you to believe God with us for. And of course, we're thanking God for the film we released and, and all of that. And so believe God with us for some great distribution opportunities there and believe God with us for, to be able to continue to upgrade our facility, our auditorium that we, of course, share God's word with you from and, and so many other places. So let's pray. Let's believe God together for that and for God to multiply what you give. Thank you, Father, for what you've done through Andre Butler Ministries in 2021. Thank you for what you've done in our lives. We receive this word today. We thank you for what is to come. We have good days coming, good years coming, days of prosperity and years of pleasures as we help build your kingdom. Father, we pray that, that, that the, those who are giving today, that they receive a multiplied return on their giving. We believe you receive it now. Satan, we command you to take your hands off of it. Angels, bring our return into our lives in Jesus' name. And we thank you. The needs of this ministry are now met, that we have our studio space, that we have the upgrades in our facility that we want to have, that we have everything we need to do to Dream Center and, and so much more. We give you the praise and glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I look forward to catching up with you next month and know that God has a future for you.